Yo guys, Saber here. Today I got my first reveal for you guys. So, as you know, the uh, new expansion is coming here in less than two weeks. And as a part of this expansion, we are getting four new cards for each faction. We already received uh, three of the new cards for Syndicate, but I'm going to reveal the last one of them to you in this video. So, before we get to the new reveal, I'll just quickly go through all the cards we have seen for Syndicate so far, and then in the end of the video, you'll see the reveal. But don't worry, it'll be a pretty short video. So, first of all, we got this Vigilantis. Um, 4 for 4, whenever a bounty is placed on a unit, damage it by 2. So, I feel like this card is pretty solid. Um, it, is, it plays as a 4 for 4, which is rather the low floor. But, if you manage to get this guy to stick, it can potentially be very powerful with a lot of the other bounty synergies you have. Um, generally though, I would say that he maybe needs a little bit higher floor to be played. Like maybe he need, you need to give him some armor to make sure he doesn't die as easily. Um, but it is a 4P after all. It's pretty easy to throw him into your deck. And if he sticks, great. If not, then it was only a 4P card. So that's the first one. Then next up, we have the second card that was revealed. That was the, the Witchfinder. The Witchfinder is a very, very powerful card, if you ask me. So that says, deploy. Spawn three Syndicate Crowns at the end of your turn. If no enemy unit has bounty, place bounty on the highest power enemy unit. This is really strong for several reasons. First of all, on deploy, it's seven points. It's three coins that cannot be interacted with. They don't even go into your to your wallet. They just stay on the board. Um, and then it automatically places bounty on the highest enemy unit. So just placing a bounty is probably worth a few points. If you manage to kill off the bounty, it's probably worth like three, four, five, six points, depending on what you give bounty to. And it's an engine. It does this every single turn. So if you manage to get this one to stick and then place some executioners, you can just each turn kill whatever the, the tallest unit is, right? Now, quite often they will, of course, be able to answer this. But the thing is that this sort of card, when it has such a high floor, then it doesn't matter too much, right? They have to answer a 7 for 12. Maybe they have to they heat wave it, right? But you still get your coins. You still get your bounty on a unit. So you're still fine. This card is super, super strong and will definitely be uh, stable in most um, bounty decks. Just in case I didn't explain it clearly enough, then a crown is this. So it's, it's an artifact that goes to the board. You'll have three of these when you play the, uh, the card we just saw. Um, and you can use them once, right? You can use them right away, you can save them, but it's just some coins that no one can really interact with. I mean, in theory, the opponent can use Heatwave to get rid of one of these, but, I mean, if that happens, then you're probably quite happy. Then, uh, the the other, the, the last reveal before the card I'm going to reveal today uh, was revealed by Henry today, and that is Hysteria. Place a bounty on an enemy unit and damage it by three. If it already has bounty, double the damage. So on its own, you could say this card is a little bit, yeah, like, place bounty on enemy unit, damage by three. That's not bad. It's, like, comparable to Slander, Witch Hunter, that gives you, like, three or four points, um, and a bounty. But, obviously, these cards are also for operation. But this one has another condition. If it already has bounty, double the damage. So, in theory, this could just be six damage to something that has bounty, six or five damage, which is good. That's kind of like a parasite or a decoction. Um, but it does, of course, require some setup. I think it depends, like, how much bounty will you have in your deck. If you'll have so much bounty that you kind of just give bounty to everything already, then this card is very strong because it, it will just give you back your um, your coins as well. So it could potentially be very, very powerful. All right. Now let's get to the card I'm going to reveal. And I'm actually pretty excited about this card because it's going to work really, really well with some of the other cards that we have seen already. So, let's get to it. Fabian Hail. Intimidate. Deploy. Place bounty on an enemy unit. If there was already an enemy unit with bounty, gain coin equal to its base power. This is pretty strong, if you ask me. So, let's just think about what the card does. Well, it's a 4 for 8, so it has to make up these points from the deployability. It has an Intimidate tag. I think in this sort of deck you'll probably be playing quite a lot of crimes because a lot of the, um, like for instance, Slander is a crime, and there's like a few other crimes that you would probably play, maybe Payday, stuff like that. So the Intimidate tag is really getting good value. Then, worst case, it's placing a Bounty on enemy unit. Now, obviously, this is not great because then you're playing a 4 for 8, which is the same as a Witch Hunter, and a Witch Hunter is a 4 for 4. Um, so you're paying like 4 extra provisions for attack. That's not great. So I think the real way you want to try to use this card is together with um, 
a lot of bounties, right? So for instance, if we just go back to the card that was um, shown uh, earlier, I think it was this one. Then this one automatically gives bounty to the tallest unit, right? So if you use the Witchfinder to give bounty to the tallest unit, then you can follow up with this card, and then you can just um, gain coins equal to space power, right? So let's say you, you play uh, the other card, you get, use it on Egon, Egon, for instance, right? Then you play this card. Then it's a 4 for 8 that gives you coins equal to the base power, which is plus 13. Now, obviously, you go over the limit, right? Um, but it's still just giving you full coins. So I feel like this Fabian Hail has a lot of strong applications. Um, and if you're playing a bounty deck, I'm pretty convinced it will be a stable. But on its own, it's obviously not, not as strong. So you don't just want to put it into any mid-range deck, really. You kind of need to play it in a deck that has some synergies. But that's it for the video. Let me know what you think about the card. Is it going to be good? Is it a little bit meh? Or what do you think? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.